we can make a connection on that to the cost of food and food inflation, not just in the United States, but all over the world. Same dynamic at work here. And like we've been doing all episode, let's go to the scoreboard. In the UK, food prices are up over 17% over 2023. And the last time I looked uh, with the data there, it was using early summer data. France, 14% food price inflation. Japan, 9%. So not as high as France and the UK, but food inflation looks like it's just getting started in Japan. So it might catch up to those other two before you know it. And in the United States, food inflation sits just under 5%, but that's double the rate of target inflation set by the Fed. What's causing the food inflation we just saw on that quick scoreboard tour? Government, regulation, and policy are. Think about it. What would you expect happens to food prices when the following are all occurring simultaneously? First, people through policy are either forbidden to work or they're driven to not work, which reduces labor participation and increases labor costs. Government, it spends massively, making all inputs scarce and squeezing out private sector activity, including agriculture. Farmland is lost to environmental regulations like that for wetlands. And farmland is also repurposed for things like solar projects that receive massive tax credits. Crops, they get redirected from animal feed and human consumption markets and into subsidized energy markets like that for ethanol. So we're putting corn in our gas tanks instead of on our dinner plates due to EPA regulations. The cost of energy goes up when you have climate policies as low cost energy sources are penalized by environmentalists and by government. And the cost of transportation goes up because fuel costs have spiked. The cost of fertilizer goes up because it uses carbon fuels as feedstocks. So if the cost of those carbon fuels increase, so does the cost of fertilizer. In global supply chains, They become more brittle and they often break due to government tearing them down and trying to rebuild each link in an ideologically pure manner consistent with the left. And then last but not least, you got interest rates. They skyrocket in the attempt to try to tame inflation, and that raises the cost of doing business for agriculture. Now, I could go on, but you start to get the picture. The food cost inflation gripping the world was self-inflicted. But that's not what the experts and elites paint optically for us. No, there we get a very creative fiction as an explanation. And I could explain it, but the ECB president, so the president of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, she said it best. Quote, adverse weather conditions in light of the unfolding climate crisis may push up food prices. End quote. What moxie with such optics? create the problem of food inflation with climate policies and all that come with them, and then blame the inevitable food inflation on climate. Wow. 